Right. Uh, Ted, first of all, congratulations. Your induction is well, well overdue. Um, you know, one of the things that you've spoken a lot about is patience, and obviously the uh, the whole the whole process that you've been through from the time that you were the first time on the ballot. Um, obviously, a lot of time has gone by. Um, I know I, I know you touched a little bit on this before, but you know the fact that you're in now, but to be inducted with Marvin Miller and everything that he had to go through, the time that you happened to play which coincided with the time that he, he made the great changes to baseball and the game that it, it is today and what it is for the players. It, it's got to be extra special, even though you had to wait as long as you did to be inducted with Mark. Well, those are two separate things. And as I mentioned a moment ago, Mark Miller, very, very special, special man. And just to have been associated with him and look in his window, for as long as I got to life lessons, you know, life knowledge, and lucky boy, having done that. As far as my my pursuit of the Cooperstown Major League Baseball Hall of Fame, it's taken this long. And it, I mean, the, it may sound so trite because it's used so often. But it's a hard place to get into, <laughs> and it should be. And there's no reason for me to feel in any way, shape, or form that my journey to this place <coughs> is any more or any less than anybody else's. It is hard. It's an excruciating weight, and until it happens for you, you just can't describe what it's like. Well, thank you. Thank you all for joining us today, and congratulations.